everybody, it's me, Glitchy, and welcome back to another Valheim build video. In this build video, we're going to be doing something a little bit smaller than our usual builds. We're going to be focusing more on a small little well uh, to gather water from for our little village, and probably a little relaxation area uh, set off to the side, almost like a small eh, little fire pit area. Um, you'll get what I mean by the time we're done with this video, so let's just hop right into it. All right, so what I wanted to start off with is this little area that we have here that I flattened out. Uh, we are going to take this area and we're going to place a little well here and a little path that will kind of go around it and continue off up to there. We're also going to be making a path going along this way to where those raspberry bushes are. And over there is going to be a small little uh, fire pit relaxation area, a little gathering area uh, for people to kind of relax and chill. I feel like this is going to be a little bit more of a simpler video for today. So hope you guys enjoy. But let's get right into it. So let's go ahead and start off with making the well. I've already flattened it out, so we're already past that point. But I'm going to start off with using the one by one wood walls. And I'm going to kind of getting somewhat the center of here and leaving it like that and we're going to tilt it by two just like this and making a circle going all the way around just like that once we have that small circle i'm going to grab the two meter uh core log pole place one place them wherever but place one there Place one on the opposite side, just like that. You're gonna take your one meter normal wood beams and make sure they're coming straight off, just like that. And you wanna do the same thing on the other side off of each log pole. Just like that, pretty simple, pretty simple. And ah, uh, you could use either the 26 degree or the 45 degree. Personally, I like the 45 degree for a well having it a little bit steeper and you're gonna want to add two of them otherwise it's not gonna connect fully so like just like that I only add one it's not gonna connect fully so you gotta place another one so it'll go all the way just like this now the other thing uh, I would like to do with this it looks fine now which you can definitely keep it like this but if you've got a couple extra uh, copper uh, or bronze nails on you you're gonna want to do is grab if I can find them, there we go. The item stand. I'm gonna add one there. And that's the vertical item stand. And then the horizontal item stand, you're gonna wanna add one. And if you can look, there's a little red arrow that points where it's facing. So you're gonna wanna put it, I guess it, yeah. You wanna make sure it's facing towards you. There's like a small uh, little wooden piece that points where it's facing. So you're gonna want that facing you. I'll place it right about there, just like that. And then you're gonna wanna get a club and a wooden shield. Grab both of these, place them in your hotbar, and I'm going to put the shield on the vertical item, uh, vertical item sand, stand, just like that. And then on the horizontal item stand, you're going to put the club, just like that. So it looks like it's a little crank. So it looks like you go up to this, crank it, and you'll bring the bucket up and down uh, the well. Now, obviously, there's nothing down there. Uh, I can't exactly put water down there. It'd be kind of nice if I could, um, but that's fine. It'll stay for now. Um, now, I am also going to add some stone. Um, I'm going to do these two by ones. See how that looks. Try and get it as center as possible. Just like this. Uh, I'm gonna need you to leave, sir. Thank you. That's not what I wanted. And I'm gonna place these in a circle all the way around it. I might need to use the snapping. There we go. Just like that. So a little circle that goes all the way around it. Feel like it's kind of nice. And then we can add a uh, small pathway going around it. So by grabbing your hoe and the paved road, I'm just going to 
had one going around. I might... Can I push this back? I can. I'll push it back just a little bit. Perfect. That should be plenty. And then we can add the paved, the paved road all the way around. Just like that. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it up to here. Uh, well, actually, is that going to... I gotta make sure that it's a smooth path going up. It's pretty, pretty smooth. It's, it's, it's alright. There we go. Got a paved road going all the way up. Now, you could leave it like this. I'm gonna add a little bit more decoration to it. Probably adding some of these. that doing our little uh, fence using the 26 degree cross roof pieces I'm on right there I use the go honestly having the uh, the snapping control on this, on the new update, oh, makes things just so much easier. But there, we got that, and then you're gonna take that two meter log uh, pole and add one every two, just like this. There we go, and that should add a little fence that goes all the way around. Looks pretty nice. And I'm gonna add just a couple uh, vines using the cultivator to add a little bit more uh, foliage and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try alternating from using uh, the ranch side and the guess that's fine using the branch side and the um, leafy side of the vines that way it kind of breaks it up just a little bit you're not just seeing the um, the uh, branchy side or just the leafy side, just like that. All right, so I did add a couple bushes and some trees just along the edge, um, just to kind of add some more to it. Looks very nice. Uh, but now we're gonna start building this path that's going to connect over towards our little uh, rest area. To make sure it's going to be on the same level. I want to make sure something like this. That should connect it quite smoothly, just like that. Now, I am going to get rid of the raspberry bushes, mainly because I don't necessarily want those over here. With this, it doesn't really uh, fit the necessary vibe, I guess, if that's the word for it. So I'm just going to chop these down. All right, so starting off, I'm going to see. We're going to take the four meter long pole. Actually, we're going to do... We're going to do the one meter. Or, sorry, the two meter. Two meter long pole, just like that. And we're going to do a small half wall and another two meter. What I'm going to want to do is... Bringing it in by one each time, so kind of making a slight circle, just like that. Just like that, that should be good. And then we're going to add a two meter long pole here. That, that. Just like that. And then if I can bring these two meter them in one, almost forgot about that. Just like this. And then I'm gonna take the stairs, or the, sorry, the wooden ladder and I'm going to place two 
bridge, just like that. Going all the way around. We'll connect correctly. There we go. So connecting like that, and I was wrong, we actually only need the two meter and not the four meter. So just like that. And then using the 45 degree connect these up. Another neck. Just like that. And I'm gonna have it shallow in just a little bit. I don't know why I am zooming in and out. I think there's a slight bug with the uh, the public test. That's okay. So just like that. And then I'm gonna have it cross. Hmm. I have to do the 26 beam and we'll have them cross just like this. Just like that. Nice. And then what we can do is we can continue, uh, we could do the wooden stairs, connect it up further just like that. And with these ones you could probably, let's see, can I get it? There we go. Light. Perfect, just like that. Well, I thought it was perfect. In fact, wrong. There we go. It's like that. Let's see how it looks on the outside. Oh, yeah, I love that. It almost looks like a uh, an acorn. Kind of? Does everybody else see that? Not, not an acorn, a pine, pine cone. That's what I'm thinking of, pine cone. I think it looks very nice. And right here, it is a little... It is a little misshapen. <laughs> just a little bit. I think... Some of these stairs have placed just a little wonky, but it's not too bad. I keep getting closer. I think there is an issue with that. Anywho... Uh, now that we have those, we can go ahead and place ourselves a small fire, and we can place it directly underneath that right there, so as if the smoke will pile or trail up right through that hole. Not like it really needs to, but it's kind of cool. So leaving it like that, we can then, let's see, grab ourselves the paved road. and bring this all the way in. Just like that. And of course, we're gonna add in a few places for us to sit. I like the thought of adding these here. As little places to sit for everybody. And then I'm going to add a small fence just to make sure nobody falls into the water because that would not be good. I don't want people falling into the little creek that's right here. I'm going to go ahead and move these all the way over to here. I'm going to have to add another log pole. And you know what? Something we can do if it will let me. Hmm, that might be a little too wide. Never mind. We're gonna go ahead and add another two meter right there, and then go ahead and start connecting these up. This will actually also keep out the small necks that are getting in our way. Get out of here, thank you. Just like that. That's fine. Go ahead and connect. 
there. And every two. Just like that. It's pretty good, I must say. And now we have a small little area for us to reside in. And we can also go ahead and add uh, some decorational stuff as well. I do want to start adding some banners. Of course, uh, we're going to go with some blue banners. This. I think that should be fine. Nope, I am burning. That's not good. <laughs> but we'll keep something like that. And we're going to go ahead and add some vines and everything as such. Vines and bushes and just decorating the rest of this stuff here. Alright, so, as you can see, I've added plenty of foliage and vines and bushes, and it looks very nice. I absolutely love the way this looks, keeping along with the fence and the road, and you might be able to see there's something new after the world saves. But there's something new! <laughs> we now have a wall of Vikings, our Patreon supporter wall. Um, I thought, just at the end of this, I was like, you know what, hey, I have I've been really bad at shouting out all of my patreon supporters so here it is here we are the wall of Vikings the patreon supporters so to name them off and I have been practicing on pronouncing this and I'm probably still pronouncing it correctly Nortia Nortia I think it is Nortia 81 thank you so much for your patreon supportage and T-Rex gaming thank you so much for your patreon supportage Thank you so much to both of you. You guys are amazing. And the rest of you are amazing too. All of you who are subbed to this channel, thank you guys so much for for subbing and you know, subscribing and whatnot and liking the video. Because, you know, I, I suppose you've already liked the video and subscribed. But go check out the Patreon as well. If you enjoy this video and if you enjoy this, uh, the, all of my, if you enjoy my other series and whatnot, you enjoy uh, me and the content I create. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe as well as that like button on the video and don't forget to go check out the patreon But yes, we're gonna leave it off here. I love all of you guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope this was a very nice video for you guys to build some small little decorational stuff but Love all you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one Bye-bye